how you guys i hope you guys are having a good um it's already 11 44 p.m so it's night time so just took a shower i feel so um fresh um I had a you know good workout and uh, I sweated so much when I came home I just took a nap and just didn't want to take a shower but then I woke up and I said you know what I can't be all sweaty sleeping like that so I feel good and I feel like I already want to go to sleep but um you guys like my new sweater I got it at the place where I work out. Um, some of the uh, money will go to the Cancer Society organization. And then um, I got this free shirt when I bought this. Um, it's just the name of the place that I go work out. Well, the reason I'm um, doing this video because I am so happy that I got my boxy charm package today and i am a new subscriber to boxy charm i hear a lot of good things about boxy charm um i hear from the people that have bought like ipsy and other subscriptions they said that that this is one of their best ones um and so i just want to um open it with you guys um some of you have already probably seen it through, you know, the people that are unboxing and um, that have videos on the on the product, the new December um, subscription from BoxyCharm. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and open it. So I have my little scissor here little scissors to open it hold on a second so this is the 19.99 I believe um, price that I got this and it says, um, it says, um, hello, charmer. I just ripped a little paper here on the top, but, um, it comes with a little boxy charm, like, um, little pamphlet here I guess for me to read um, I think it I think this is the November so I, I didn't think I was gonna get the November cuz I enroll like in the middle of no in November like I didn't enroll like before November I, I did it like in between like the middle of November so I thought I was getting like the December one, but I think it this is the November. I feel like, um, yes, I remember seeing this on one of the um, people that that been reviewing the the, the palette. I mean, I'm sorry, the November um, um, boxy charm. So it comes with these. Um, these little um, makeup brushes. They actually look smaller than what I thought. Um, these are more like for the eye area, but they look tiny. Like, I don't know if you guys could see. And these brushes are from um, Luxie. Um, they're synthetic and, um, yeah, I think they're more like for the eye area. If you could see. They look much tinier, to be honest, than what I thought they would look in the camera. It's very tiny. Um. 
but yeah i mean they work i mean I, I it looks like they're good um brushes and can't wait to try these yeah so this little pamphlet that i told you that came with the box just tells you a little bit more of the product so just a little bit more for me to read so it, it gives me more details of everything that's in the palette and the quality and stuff like that and just the info. But so next thing I'm going to show you is a makeup brush cleaner. So this one is from Bodyography Pro. So I don't have any, I think I don't have any more makeup brush cleaner so this came in a good time for me because we always need um a brush uh cleaner solution for you know when we're cleaning our makeup brushes so i'll go ahead and try it and see how it works so next thing in the palette is um these tweezers um it's from farah and I have no eyebrows. I mean, no hair on my eyebrows. I pencil them. Or I use the, like, eyeshadow to do my eyebrows, like, and I shave my, my eyebrows. Uh, since I had them tattooed, like, um, they just don't, like, the hairs just don't grow, like, evenly, like, they grow here and there and so I just shave it off you know because um yeah ever since the I did the tattoo like just like it's not the same my hair don't grow the same so I don't know I don't know if I could use these um for something else maybe to put some eyelashes but I don't know because they look like they're a little pointy let's see they look like they're a little pointy, if you could see. And I would probably be afraid to poke my eye if I'm putting the eyelashes. Because some girls put their their eyelashes with the tweezers. I could never do that. And it has two sides, guys. Look. It has this side. And it has the pointier side. So. I don't know. It's cute look. Kind of like hydraulic. So yes. I might give these away. Because I don't. To be honest. I don't think I'll be using this. But it's cute. So next thing is the. Um, Cover FX. Um, glitter drops. You know these are. This one's in the color. Uh, Nova, and it looks like this is a pretty good size. Um, it looks very glittery. I don't know if you guys could tell from the reflection of the light. It's very glittery. Let's check it out and see how it works. So I went ahead and put a little bit here, a little drop here on my um, index finger. And I am going to go ahead and put it at the higher um, area of my cheekbones. It's really pretty. Then um, you could put some... around here wow I love it some people put it here on the um, bridge of the nose at the cupid bone and actually I have no more like it, I'm just putting whatever I could get from the I just took a shower. I don't feel like 
like putting all this makeup on me but you could tell like how pretty it is and the glow so I think I'm gonna love it and you could see here I didn't I just put whatever I had left over on my in, like my index finger and you could see that glow so I think I am going to love this one so last but not least, it's the um, eyeshadow palette, which I've seen the reviews already, and it looks like very pigmented, and so far I didn't hear any bad reviews on it, but this is how it looks. Really cute little package, and then I think I have to take it out this little box here. And the box, I mean, the, the palette feels sort of light, meaning doesn't feel heavy. Feels like really light. Um, it looks small, like it's smaller than what I thought. Like, um, but let's see. Wow. The colors are beautiful. This came off already, but the colors are gorgeous. I'm going to love this palette. So I'm going to go ahead, and I wasn't really planning to do this, and play around with these brushes and the eyeshadow palette because it's just so gorgeous. Um, that I can't wait to, you know, just give it a try. So I think I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this orangey one here. Let's see, can you see this little orangey one? And it's called Clove. I'm going to use that as transition. And... I'm gonna see how so I'm gonna go ahead and blend with this brush this one's the fluffier one and I think this one is not mm -hmm. as fluffy for like transition but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and just make it work it's more like for the crease um transition one should be fluffier um but let's go and choose the next color so next color i'm gonna use it's um this one and it's called cinema and it doesn't look as dark in the camera but i'm gonna use cinnamon to just make it more more deep make the crease look um a deeper look so i'm going to go ahead and use my color for my lid and see how it turns out so the next color I'm using is this one right here in the corner and it's called prime rose and it's like a gold color and I'm trying to use these brushes that came with the palette so I'm just trying to make it work you know some of these I would not use like for the lid because they're not meant to be for the lid but I'll just make it work and just patting the color on the lid and as you can see it's a beautiful color very pigmented and i like it beautiful so I, i'm going to go ahead and add the the color i use for transition i'm gonna go ahead and add it down 
the orangey color I use um, first color I use I'm gonna go ahead and put it down the um, under eye area and as you can see it has fallout so just make sure you tap when you you're using it then the next color is the cinnamon which is like the the dark brown go ahead and add that to my bottom as well and I'm going to use a color here in the inner corner and that one's going to be this one this one and it's called poppy it's like a burgundy how can I say like a yeah, it looks burgundy to me I am going to use a different brush I'm gonna use this one that's more like an angle and the one I used for the transition and crease was this one this one's more like angle and I'm going to go ahead and just do the outer V You could even do like a halo eye too, like um, just add a little bit of that same color you use in the, I'm using in the outer V to this corner and make this look like a halo eye. And once again, make sure you tap off your, um, when you're, um, putting these eyeshadows make sure you tap off all the excess um, eyeshadow because as you can see I did get some fallout but I'm gonna use this clean clean brush and I'm going to go ahead and use um, uh, it's called patchouli or something like that it's this one here in the corner. I'm going to use that to highlight my um, Bravo. Okay. And then there's this beautiful, uh, it's called Jasmine. This one here. And I'm going to use that one to do my inner corner. Sorry if I'm going fast, but um, I'm running out of space on my phone. So I had to erase a couple stuff I don't need so I could finish up this video. But um, this is just a quick review of the product. And I'm going to go ahead and um, add... Um, some of that inner corner color the one that I, that looks like burgundy underneath so um let's see if I could go ahead and just like make sure there's no harsh lines but um Overall, I think the um, the eyeshadows are really pigmented. You just make sure if I'll make sure next time to tap off the excess before I apply. But look at look at the um, the drops of the um, um, what did you call it? The little drops of highlight. The cover effects they came in the box. Um, I think I so I'm going to have to let you guys go and thank you for watching. I have no more storage so God bless and thank you for watching my review.